Hey, I'm Italo. I'm a part of Atlassian team at Modes Create. In this video, we're going to be talking more about cloud migrations. So if you are from server or data center and are looking for migrating to the cloud, this video is for you. One of the first things you need to look is when is the best time to migrate your application to the cloud? Since Atlassian products can be uh, critical for your business, uh, we need to align with the teams that use the products to understand how this would impact them and decide the migration in a moment that doesn't impact them too much. For example, if you have a team that does release uh, in the end of the quarter, we know that the end of the quarter is not the best uh, moment to do the migration to the cloud. So we can plan ahead and use that moment to test the migration. And once the quarter is end, you can then uh, migrate the data to the cloud for that example. Another thing to take in consideration are the plugins, add-ons, or apps. They have many names. Take a time, understand what apps are being used for your company, um, and if they are critical for a business, or they are nice to have, or if you are not even, even using them anymore. Once you have the assessment ready for the apps you need for the cloud, we recommend you to go to the marketplace and look if the app is uh, available in the cloud. How is the migration path to, mi to, to migrate the data for the app to the cloud? And also check if the features are the same between the server and the cloud. Atlassian is simplifying the way to migrate data to the cloud by providing two products called Jira Cloud Migration Assistant and Confluence Cloud Migration Assistant. Once you have that installed, you'll be able to uh, select which projects you want to migrate from Jira and the spaces in Confluence. And also you're going to be able to review all the apps you have installed in your environment and look for the migration path for the cloud. Even though the products share the same name, you're going to have a totally different experience in the cloud. So some of the difference that you need to take time and consider are the subscription models available in the cloud. So in the cloud, you have four types, the free, standard, premium, and enterprise. Each edition has their own uh, unique features. So you need to understand what features are available in each of these and classify which one you need based on your requirements. Some of the features that are most asked about are the sandbox, the data residency, and the release track. So if you need any of those three, so you need to consider looking into the premium edition. Another area that is different is the user, user management. Atlassian Access is a different product and it has its own subscription and it will enable you to have single sign-on and user provisioning in the cloud using uh, some IDPs such as Okta, OneLogin, Azure AD. So we, you need to, be, uh, to have one of those supported tools um, to integrate with Atlassian Access. Prior to migration to the cloud, it's best to review all your permissions in Jira to avoid unauthorized access in the cloud. So here are some tips you need to take a look. First thing, look all your permission schemes and make sure that don't have anyone access available in the permission scheme. So, um, the second one is check the global permissions uh, specifically for browse user permission. Make sure that permission is locked down. And the third one is review all your filters, dashboards and boards and make sure that you are not sharing that to anyone in the web. Atlassian provide you a query that you can run a database um, and extract a list of the dashboards, filters, and boards you need to fix prior to the migration. We, we know how frustrating it can be by having broken links. For example, after the migration, all the bookmarked page will, will start not working. So to alleviate this issue in the post-migration, we recommend having a redirect in place where it will redirect people from the old URL to the cloud URL. Something to note is that during the migration, some URL changes. So for those cases, the redirection won't work. Migrating to the cloud might have its challenges, but the payoff is massive. Not rushing to migration is critical. 
Planning will help you remove blockers and give you the confidence that you are on the right path. Our team recently did a webinar going into more details on these topics. Make sure to check the recording link in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our Atlassian team.